This video is sponsored by The Indian Photography. It's Tuesday, October 2nd, and this is Top Stories by Rooster News. Posing as a rider, a transport department official from New Avadi Road booked a seat to Nellore in a private car using a ride-sharing application recently. When the car with a Gujarat re- registration number arrived to pick him up, the driver was nabbed. This was part of a crackdown by the transport department on private car owners who ferry passengers to other districts and states using ride-sharing apps as it is in violation of the Motor Vehicles Act. Using ride-sharing applications, people who wish to travel within the city or to other districts or states can connect with private car owners who are going to the same destination. A fee which is lesser than the tourist taxi or even call taxi aggregators has to be paid to the owner of the car. According to the transport department officials, this is illegal. Using own vehicle for public transport is a violation of Section 192A of the Motor Vehicle Act. Only yellow board taxis can carry passengers by charging money. Hence, if we catch violators, the vehicle will be seized and a fine amount up to Rs 5,000 can be slapped on the car owner, said a regional transport officer. Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, Prime Minister Raja Farooq Haider has claimed that the white chopper he was travelling in was very close to the Yellow Sea but within Pakistan's airspace and that there was no need to inform the Indian authorities about the flight as it was not a military helicopter. The Indian Army said on Sunday that a Pakistani chopper violated the Indian airspace along the line of control LOC in Poonch district of Jammu and Kashmir but turned back after it was engaged by air sentries. As it was a civilian helicopter, there was no need to intimate about it, Mr. Haider said, adding that he frequently travels in the area but such an incident had never happened. He said he would formally take up the matter with the government of Pakistan to pursue the issue and take appropriate action. A section of workers at the Royal Enfield plant in Oregadam went on strike yet again on Monday, even as the company said the earlier strike in September resulted in the loss of production of 10,000 motorcycles. Starting September 24, 2018, a section of the workforce at the Oregadam facility near Chennai did not report for work. This has resulted in loss of production of 10,000 motorcycles in September 2018, Aisha Motors, the parent company of Royal Enfield, said in a stock exchange announcement on Monday. The management had told the workers to report for duty from Sunday's first shift. However, they were told to leave their mobile phones with security personnel. They objected to this and did not report for duty. When the same condition was imposed on Monday, the workers decided to protest. From Monday morning, all the permanent workers and a section of trainees abstained from reporting for duty, urging the management to either allow mobile phones inside the factory or provide a locker to safeguard privacy. R. Sampath, Vice President of Royal Enfield Employees Union, said. The 2018 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine has been jointly awarded to James B. Allison and Tasuku Honju by the Nobel Committee of the Karolinska Institute. The two immunologists from the US and Japan respectively were awarded the prize for their discovery of cancer therapy by inhibition of negative immune regulation. Cancer kills millions of people every year and is one of humanity's greatest health challenges. By stimulating the inherent ability of our immune system to attack tumor cells, this year's Nobel laureates have established an entirely new principle for cancer therapy, read a statement from the Academy. Security has been beefed up at the Kadalaw Central Prison following intelligence inputs that the IS is planning to launch an attack and free an inmate arrested by the National Investigation Agency or NIA. According to the police, Ansar Miran, 
was arrested by the NIA sleuths in February this year on charges of mobilizing funds and facilitating the travel of a few persons to Syria and Iraq. Miran, who was lodged in the Pural Central Prison, was shifted to Karla Central Prison in July following a clash between two groups of prisoners at Pural. The police said that the NIA had received inputs that ISIS had planned to launch an attack on Karla Central Prison and free Miran. This prompted the NIA to alert Tamil Nadu intelligence wing, which in turn alerted the senior officials of the prison's department. Following this, a team led by Shanmuga Sundaram, Deputy Inspector General of Police Prisons, Tirichi, strengthened Vizal inside the prison to prevent any untoward incident. We round up this newscast with fuel prices from key metros. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 87.05 rupees per litre and diesel for 79.40 rupees per litre. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 83.73 rupees per litre and diesel for 75.09 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 91.08 rupees per litre and diesel for 79.72 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 85.53 rupees per litre and diesel for 76.94 rupees per litre. If you're serious about reaching a high quality audience, sponsor or advertise with us. Contact for further details on 8939-511-887 or write to us at info.theroosternews at gmail.com.